everybody. Welcome to Let's Cats. Today, we're playing a game called Hue. Now, this is an indie game that I got sent, but I was interested in this game for a while. Uh, it's a puzzle game that relies on color. Now, sorry if anybody who is watching is colorblind. There is a colorblind option if you want to buy this game. Dearest Hugh, Oh, I've had the most dreadful luck. I feel terrible that you've been left alone all this time. The traitorous Dr. Grey tried to steal the annular spectrum, a ring I developed to allow perception and alteration of color. Some call them impossible colors. <laughs> impossible for Dr. Grey, maybe. Anyway, something went wrong. I turned a strange shade and became invisible. The ring, it, it fractured, scattering colored shards far and wide. I stayed at home for many weeks, watching, waiting, existing on this coloured plane. I couldn't speak to you, nor interact with anything in the mono world. So I left. I left for the university where I hid away the coloured tools I had created. I pray you have found what is left of the ring. Oh, okay. So the point of this game is to find the coloured pieces in order to find your mother. And since this is a puzzle game, I don't want to I don't want to show all of it because I feel like you guys should get this game. It's it's not that expensive. It's on Steam, I think for like for either like it's it's somewhere between 10 and 15 bucks. And it's it's beautiful as you can see. And I haven't even gotten the colors yet. This is this this game is just it's gorgeous. I love it. So you have to say. The fisherman caught a glimpse of something. Something unusual. Down past the lighthouse. Oh, I went in the lighthouse. Alright, see, here's a colored block. For now I can't do anything with it, but I found a piece of the ring. Blue. Cool. So now. Well, blue is the only color I have, but I can change colors. Since the beginning, we have pointed to the sky and declared it blue. It is this shared vision, this unquestioned understanding which connects us. But are you really seeing blue the same way I see it? Mm -hmm. Perhaps blue is nothing more than a shade of grey to you. Perhaps everyone in this world sees nothing but shades of grey. Don't you see, Hugh? This, this is why we're here. Oh, Hugh is the name of the boy. That's that's a cute, that's a cute thing. Cause like you can, you can be like Hugh, like H U E, but also like H U G, H U G H is actually a name. That's really cute. The sky is blue. Okay. Let's explore a little around here, huh? Looks like I can't go that way because there's a block in the way. It's a pink block. Don't quite have pink yet. Stalactite. There's a doorway here. I guess I wouldn't have been able to see it if I didn't have blue. Oh. Hello? Hugh, is that you? Thank goodness, I've been trapped here for days. Help me get out of here. I keep hearing noises, it's creeping me out. Turn it blue. The, the rocks, they... They just disappeared? I don't I don't know how you did it. Who cares, I'm saved. Thank you. There's the first... We saved the person. By using our powers of color. This is... This game is very... I, I love this art. It's great. Oh, we can't pass by through. But now we can. Oh, I can't turn it back gray though, apparently. When you enter a cave expecting a waterfall, the chances are your expectations will be met. But if you discard those expectations, don't you think instead the cave will be full of surprises? Hmm. I ask for you, Hugh, to abandon your expectations. Okay. 
to pull me back from the brink of unreality. I need you to see the world not for what it is, but for what it can be. I love the, like, the morals and, like, this game just started, but it's already, like, hitting deep, and it's just like, oh, wow. Hello, ma'am. Oh, hello there. You startled me. I'm just resting my legs. Don't play too close to the water now. Here's your door. Hmm. Let's do it. There's a box here. There. And then now I need this here first. Get around. And pull it this way. And this is the basic idea of a puzzle. I mean, I feel like every puzzle game has these little box box moving sections. Or not dying sections. Let me uh how's this? Ooh. Ooh, I like this, but I'm gonna need another color to get through to this ladder up there. So, maybe we can find a color deeper in the cave. Okay. Oh no. Let's, uh, let's not do that. Okay. Oh, there's stairs up there, too. Hmm. Oh. Oh, no. This is a chase sequence. Alright, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Should have gone up. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna let it fall below me. Haha! That was a smart idea. What's this? A potion. Oh, I guess I didn't need to go down there. That might have been optional. I don't want to know what happens when you hit those spikes. Oh, it's this guy. Is this Dr. Gray? Whoever he is, I'm not sure I can trust him. Not yet, anyway. Stairs. Oh! Well, he didn't take this, so... Maybe he's not a bad guy? What is that? Violet? Magenta? Oh! Violet. Shrinking Violet. Alright. Did you know, Hugh? That purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum. Yes. It's the hardest color for our eyes to distinguish. Now, imagine a shade one step further than purple. A color beyond what we can actually perceive. We call these impossible colors. Ultraviolet. And I fear that this, this is where I currently reside. Infrared and ultraviolet. If reality are is rooted colors. in our perception and you cannot perceive me, do I even exist to you? Mm. I'm sure that I do. I mean, you're reading this letter, or or at least I hope you are. Oh no. I'm so sorry, sad. but existing in this strange state of impermanence does funny things to you, Hugh. It makes you question what is real. Huh. Ha 
Very nice. Oops. Haha, <laughs> that's really cool. I like that. Oh, that was close. Huh. This is, this is really cool. I'm loving this so far. All right, there's one right there. Okay. This way. Ha. Ah. This is really cool. I'm I'm loving this game so far. Oh, it's this guy again. What are you after, guy? Is there another color here? Orange. But why did the colors come here to these, like, shrines? We have a triad of colors now. <laughs> like clockwork. Okay. What do you have to say now, Mom? The university gardens were bathed in an earthy orange light when I first met Dr. Gray. Summer had come and gone and a cold autumnal crispness had caught me off guard. Oh. I sat on the grass, surrounded by my books and papers, when a cool breeze threatened to blow my notes across the lawn. A page escaped my reach and took flight. A man not much older than myself chased after it, catching it on his third or, or fourth attempt. I remember his gentle smile when he returned it. He started talking and I was surprised that he had read my work in the university journal. He said he was a professor and that he hoped we could work together someday. It's funny, Hugh, how something so small can change so much. So it looks like Dr. Gray used to be a good guy? Well, I can go down now. Whoa, there's so much to this cave. I'm not sure if I can... Hmm, where am I now? Dr. Gray soon became my assigned mentor, and I can't help but feel he somehow had a hand in it. Our fires burnt brightest when we worked together. It felt like we could achieve anything. Hmm. We discovered more about color than I could ever have imagined. We split light, matte spectrums, we painted. We laughed. We worked long hours and soon our gold became all-consuming. We were vessels. The work became more important than us. And we knew it. Oh no. You shouldn't overwork yourself, Mom. Oh, I can't go this way. I need blue. Strange. Well, this is just a crate, so I can actually just move it. Oh. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Uh, this way. Nope. Keep going. Now. Wait. 
I'm missing something. Alright, what I need to do is... Hmm. I'm not quite sure what I need to do here. Can't pull you back past this. Whoa! Oh, I can move this. I see. Alright. I might have moved that a bit too far, though. Yes, okay, haha. <laughs> hmm. Okay. There's a door, and there's a key. So now I have the key, and the door. Well, I have the key. Here's the door. Whoa. Hmm. Whoa. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. I still don't know what to do, though. What did I do? Oh, oh. Okay, hold on. I got it. I need you. Put you over here. Then I then I need you. And I'll put you over here. And I'll put you over here. First, I do orange, then I do blue, then I do purple, and then I go in the door. Haha! <laughs> oh! Oh no. This is no bueno. Okay, so we're gonna do blue, and then I have to do orange, and then I'm guessing I have to do purple last. Blue, orange, oh god, that was a mistake. I died. Well, now I know what happens when you mess up. Oh, well, the music started getting heavier. Wait, oh no, blue, orange, purple, blue. Orange. Purple. Orange. Blue. Purple. Orange. Blue. Purple. Oh my god. Okay. Oh god. This is so... This suddenly got very stressful and I really like it. Alright, looks like that's where I'm going. Oh no! Alright, I almost fell. Huh. Okay. The key's right there. But I don't think I can just jump up there, can I? Um... Oh no. Oh. That's not good. 
Uh, well, I'm gonna have to keep it between orange and blue. Okay. And now I have to get over there really quickly, I guess. Oh man, I don't know if I can do that. Uh, nope. Got crushed. Interesting. But why is there pro Oh, I get it. This is a good puzzle. Check it out. Gotta pull it this way. And then... Go free. Oh, I'm probably gonna wanna... Get everything out of the way first. Candle in a cage. Whoa, I can hit it. Interesting. Oh no. Skeletons hanging over here. Hey, watch it, buddy. You're not getting under my skin. These are cute. You're making me queasy. I don't have the stomach for it. <laughs> this is funny. Alright. How could you be so heartless? Alright. It looks like they come in... Yep. So first, and then... Second, and then... Third. And then... Fourth. And fifth. Six. Whoa, that was really close. Seven. Okay, let's do this. Oh man, this is really cool. I love this so much. Orange. Let me get the next color, and then I'll stop it at that. Okay, that was fun. This is... I mean, yes, this is part puzzle game, but it's also, like, very reflex-based, and I'm... Oh, man, I'm just loving it. Hey, magenta! Did you know magenta is an artificial color? It's what our brain fills in when we... something. I don't remember. I read up on it at one point, and I forgot what it was. It's more like pink. It says fuchsia down there. But yeah, I think with this, these four colors, there's four left, I'm going to leave it at that. Next time on Let's Cats, I'll play a different game, but maybe you guys can try this game and support it, because it's really good, and it's a great indie game, and I'm having so much fun with it so far. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Cats, and for now, I'm going to go in this future door, but you're not going to see that, because I like having game time to myself. Bye!